This week is Thanksgiving week and it's prime time for all kinds of cooking. And if you're <laughs> one who enjoys a traditional menu for Thanksgiving, then cranberry relish might be part of your plans. So, well, for this next segment, we're stepping back in time one year ago and sharing with you a recipe that is not only easy and healthy, but has since become a staple in the Lynch household. We're taking a traditional Thanksgiving menu item and showing how you can give it a little flair. And so to keep things on the healthy side, we're making easy homemade cranberry sauce. Mm. And so you can go to the website fantasticfood.com and see the recipe. Well, this recipe is Where's the can simple. that you just you take the lid right. off and you go plop. This is homemade. And so and we're going to do that. It. But it is simple, I promise you. And so here's our ingredients. Are you ready? Yes. We're going to have 12 ounces of fresh or frozen cranberries. So we have here in the bag, that's about three cups. We have a half cup pure maple syrup. We have zest and juice of one fresh orange and then one table chop fresh thyme or one tablespoon of chopped fresh thyme and that is optional um, for all of you who maybe not be may not be thyme fans. <laughs> all right we've got the orange clearly and so we need one of you guys to both juice it and zest it. Why don't you zest it first Andy? How do you that's, zest that's the orange? orange. We have I think did we go over this before? No use this tool that's what I was excited but you do that. Right I'm there. gonna do the half Which cup side? Uh, maple syrup. I don't even. Okay and all we're gonna do is well, put all of these ingredients in the pan and so I'll give you this to, good idea. to zest it. <laughs> I'm just gonna all zest right? it on our table cloth. Okay. <laughs> so you just do this orange, right? You just right? kinda. Yep. The whole all, thing? Uh, yep the whole one whole fresh orange. I just cut myself. And then and then Matt. Why are we you're you going to do the part? half cup. Well, that's the zest. If you, it's, you'll find out once you taste the end product. But half cup of pure maple syrup. And this is actually local uh, pure maple syrup right. being made right in Ohio. And Love so, maple syrup. It's so good. Well, a half cup is what we need. And so. Yeah. Oh, pretty thick. There you go. And you can go a little, a little higher. Again, a little more. Yep, a little more. Still want to spill it when I'm transporting, you know? Yep. There you go, right there. All right. Keep going, Andy. <laughs> You're getting there. <laughs> How much time you have in this food segment? It's gonna be zesty <laughs> for the entire. So That's my thumb. We're gonna in. do when we're done is going to add these all into the pan, and on medium to high heat, we're gonna boil them all together. And so you, this is maybe a time you want to go turn your stove on just to prepare. Yeah. Now what am I doing? Juicing it. You're gonna need to juice it. So well, you gotta here. I have a knife for you. If you oh. wow. <laughs> wow, look at that knife. That feels. <laughs> go ahead and danger. cut it in half. I don't have a cutting board. There, it's all right. Yeah, it's good job. Oh, the cutting oh, it's right, right there. Here. How about that? Thank you. I can cut an orange. And Matt, you can go ahead and add this to the pan. Oh, we're yeah. ready? Okay. They're, they're all going in the same Watch out, Andy. Ah! There you go. This might not be as zesty as what the recipe calls for. Since what are you saying, Zach? <laughs> Andy gave up on his zesting a little bit. There Nobody you go. Eats the skin. It's fresh squeezed orange juice right here. That's look pretty good. You can take a bite out of the orange if you'd like. <laughs> I'm not on camera, so I'm not going to waste that. Oh my goodness. Ew. Well, go Terrible. ahead and put the juice. <laughs> Terrible. Put the juice in there. And Matt, why don't you get our cranberries? Again, this is 12 <laughs> ounces or three cups of fresh or frozen cranberries. Is the, uh, the heater on there for medium. the stove? Yep, all right. Medium. And so, I'm going to dump all of these cranberries in. All you guys, I didn't even ask. Do you like cranberry sauce? I do like the gelatin version. I don't like that yeah. one as much, but this, this. The one that comes out of the can? That's right. Very processed. There you go. Get oh, all everything? In there. All of them, yep. All right. And you're going to stir that together like a little bit. Cranberry. Give it a try. Can you just eat up. them? You can. They're cranberries. There you go. <clears throat> Mix that together a little bit. You're going to throw it on the stove top. I and an apple texture. In about 10 minutes or so, what you're going to do, you're going to boil that together, occasionally stirring. I don't know. Let me give you a little more zest. <laughs> but once you yeah, zest it up. What you're after is Flip once the side. cranberries pop, they'll be on the stove oh. top and they'll boil a little bit and the cranberries will pop, after which you know that your cranberry sauce is ready. And really, depending on what kind of consistency you, you want. Juice. Get ju Did I get you <laughs> There's juice flying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> once you get the consistent, depending on the consistency that you want, you can leave them on for longer or less time on the stove top. Might be a little skin in there. But go ahead and throw those on the stove top there. And we're not going to wait 10 minutes. So I actually have a finished Ooh. product. Zach, I don't know about this one. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Leave, leave it go there. I think the fire alarms are going to go off. <laughs> and our finished product here. <laughs> I'm wafting. <It's> this <laughs> finished product smells pretty good. So though. why don't you taste our finished product? And this actually, this, this finished product was on the stove top for almost a half hour. And mm. so you can see. 
It's more like a jelly consistency. This was made by professionals, right? <laughs> That's right. Uh, this was actually created by Grace and Abby, our 10 and 12 year old junior reporters that you just seen on That's the That's good. That is good. That's right. It's tasty. And so again, this is about a half hour's worth of on the stove and you get like a jelly consistency if you can see inside of here. It's and a clear bowl. But what happens is the cranberries pop there. And so we encourage you to try it out. It's gonna be quick and easy. It's gonna be an opportunity to make something for your Thanksgiving dinner. You just combine them all in the pot and away you go.